Welcome to the Geico ESPN High School Basketball Showcase, presented by Buick. The San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles is alive for a dynamite matchup. Sierra Canyon ranked eighth in the country, playing host to Mayfair. Ted Emmerich, Paul Biancardi with you. We know LA is the city of stars, Paul. We have two of them in the backcourt tonight. Two of the best prospects out west and nationally. Number 26 in the ESPN 100. You see him on the right, Cassius Stanley, one of the best athletes in all of high school basketball. He stands out because he's a big time finisher, scorer, and winner. And he's one of the top unsigned prospects in the nation. On the other side, the junior, Joshua Christopher. He's number eight in the ESPN 60. I love his strength, skill, and smarts. A dominating player and a leader for his team. Starting lineups brought to you by ARS Rescue Rooter, Mayfair 10 and three on the season. Michael Ofebu provides a nice compliment to Christopher in the scoring department, as well as rebounding, averaging six, 16 and seven per game. Meanwhile, for Sierra Canyon, Stanley is joined in that starting five by two very familiar names, Scotty Pippen Jr., Kenyon Martin Jr. And by the way, both dads are in attendance here tonight. Mayfair in the blue, Sierra Canyon in the white. The Trailblazers of Sierra Canyon, a defending open division state champion here in California. Mayfair wins the tip, and they're off and running with Josh Christopher. Most, most times that pass by Christopher, Ted, that's an assist. Awfully tough at the rim against the likes of Coloco, and we'll see the 7-2 Harold Yu from China off the bench for Sierra Canyon. Travel, Travel down low, another turnover by Sierra Canyon. Certainly have enough electronics in the building, right? Scoreboard, yeah. six, six game clocks. They're all around. You can't miss it here at Sierra Canyon in Chatsworth, California. Christopher lost it. Here's Scotty Pippen Jr. to the rack. He made six threes in the Les Schwab championship game last week in Oregon against University School. And that's when he's really tough. When he's the point guard making threes, he also sets up his teammates. Christopher doubled. Cassius Stanley the deflection and the steal. And here he goes, rising up like he always does. Martin brings it up. Stanley from the range. Didn't get the shooter's bounce. Here's Christopher, so dangerous in transition. Wild shot, that one does fall in. Smart shot by Christopher, high off the glass. Pippin the dish to Stanley for his second dunk. Cab off the mark from three. On oh, the give and go with Martin, and a foul is called. Both teams love to get up and down, Paul. Well, the double team right there, Christopher gives it up. Great anticipation by Stanley, the push. And the rest, it's all genetics. One of the best athletes in all of high school basketball, Cassius Stanley. They're in the final four of the Peach Jam. Cassius Stanley's a winner. Who makes highlights? He says I'm more than just a YouTube star now. There's nothing wrong with being that, though. In today's day and age. Josh Christopher, also a YouTube star himself. He missed that three. Austin leaves it for Pippen. Pippen carving through the defense. The bucket plus the foul. Pippen Jr.'s game has really changed. He always could get to the basket. That time he welcomed the contact, invited it, took it, and finished. That's a strong move and a great finish. Something that Stanley told us this week, Paul, Scotty Pippen Jr. is so easy to play with because he knows the game. Pippen with the steal. Pick the pocket. He's fouled again. Didn't finish, but he'll go to the line. <laughs> I got to ask him how the stock market's going to do this year then, because right now it doesn't look good. Kansas, Oregon, and UCLA. Yes, the Bruins are still in the mix, even after firing Steve Alford. Christopher draws the foul, trying to work against Coloco, the seven-footer. And there's a connection to UCLA on top of just being the hometown school as Mom Tanya was a track star for the Bruins. Yeah, it's the home school. And it's UCLA. Stanley finding Martin inside. Coloco, the offensive rebound in the putback. It's like we have a DJ in here. I thought it was a fire alarm. Yeah. <laughs> 
Christopher leaning in, and the foul is called. We'll have a timeout. You think of Sierra Canyon the last few years. Marvin Bagley III now with the Kings. Remy Martin at Arizona State. Cassius Stanley is next in line. A high flyer, one of the best athletes in all of high school basketball. An exciting and a dynamic player, and one who can finish with anyone. Check out the athleticism right here. He gets a little bit of a brush screen, a little back screen off this handoff. Watch him move without the basketball right up to the rim. The body control, the soft hands, the easy finish. Next defense. He's in the back line of a 2-2-1. Two, two, he gets the steal, the deflection, and now the push is on. Hard right jab step to get the defender to lean. A little bit of a Euro step right to the rim. He puts his defender in jail under the rim. Easy two points. Stanley owns a high basketball IQ. I love this play. He steps in bounds, and then the cut for the finish. Pull up jumper. He's got a great drive game. One of the best finishers and athletes that we'll see this year. Christopher's pass, too tall for Michael Ofebu. Sierra Canyon the other way. Oh, Kenyon Martin Jr. blew the dunk. Pippen finding him in the open floor. Martin couldn't convert. Martin was so high, he didn't know what to do with it. And Jimmy Carr, longtime successful college coach, doing a great job at the university school. You beat a good team and a good coach. Chris Adamora signed with the University of Texas as a safety for the football team, had his shot swatted by Martin. Stanley, the no look, and the dunk by freshman Amari Bailey. The 14-year-old has already committed to UCLA. For him, it doesn't matter who the head coach is. He wants to go to UCLA, he told me. Yeah, he said that's his dream school. Amir Kirkwood with the bucket Amir for Mayfair. Kirkwood. Bailey, but a lot of control. KJ Martin able to clean it up. There's Stanley inside for Sierra Canyon. Got a three second difference, shot clock and game clock. Not that it matters much to Sierra Canyon. Stanley, a strong move in the lane, absorbing the contact and finishing. Well, to be a great athlete, it's just not all about jumping and running. It's the body control by Cassius Stanley. My goodness. The ability to hang, take the hit, and finish. Stanley okay. was outstanding. NBA, but one of Cassius's goals is to be the commissioner of the NBA, so he may play in it and then be the commissioner. Pretty good life. Adamora missed the jumper, got it back. Shot clock turned off, of course. Another chance here for Mayfair. Five seconds. Here's Christopher, matched up against the freshman Bailey. All from NBA range. It doesn't go. And we have reached the end of one. Cassius Stanley with nine of his team's 22 points. And it's a 22-9 lead for the Trailblazers. Stanley and Christopher, the stars of the show. Christopher to the rack. Stanley above the rim. Big time players outside of LA. Pippen Jr. gets into the end. And to be so respectful at a young age, very impressive. His dad, Laren, was a musician. Actually played on the soundtrack for Don't Be a Menace. Offensive foul here on Christopher. Coaching mostly energy and effort last night. Kept it very simple. Lob to Stanley, and he drops the hammer, the dime from Amari Bailey. Cassius Stanley, with any separation at all, tremendous elevation. Christopher, from long range, it's short. Offensive rebound, though. Right back to Christopher. And a third crack at it for the Monsoons. Shahid can't hit. Scotty Pippen Jr., another steal. Weaving through traffic. I love the kick. And Pippen does it himself. And then the bucket. Coloco got his hands on it. Another transition opportunity. And Pippen with two more. Timeout for Mayfair.
Sierra Canyon is rolling now here at home. Dad loves it. This is, this is high level stuff. You see the end of it right now, Scotty Pippen Jr. with the finish, but he pushed it up the floor, he made the kick pass, then he relocated, got it back and scored. And this one, he just played it nice and safe, got the two points, scored the last four points for the Trailblazers. And both of these players, KJ Martin Jr. and Scotty Pippen Jr. Oh, how about Stanley behind the back and the pass to L. Simpson. Still stuck in single digits. Cassius Stanley gets into the lane, almost charged, but gave it up softly at the end. He can initiate an offense. That time, I would have liked to seen him jump stop under control, but he can clean the glass, block shots, run the floor, make a lot of tough plays. Stanley told us he has the best motor on the team. Michael Ofebu going reverse side. Here comes the heat from Mayfair, right out of the timeout by Coach Davis. Bears able to break it, and the bucket plus the foul. Josh Calvin finishing for the monsoon. Basket counts for Josh Calvin. Foul committed by Great push right here, right into the, the middle of the floor, foul. right to the rim. That's how you break pressure. Play for Gary Anderson, who just returned to Utah State as the head coach. On the block, Coloco, this time with the left hand. Plays a little upright and gets Andrew stronger Austin overall. And you think Sierra of Canyon. all the great players that have come from Cameroon recently. Of course, Joel Embiid with the Sixers. Pascal Siakam might be the most improved player in the league with the Raptors. A.J. Martin flying high for Sierra Canyon. What a dime by Pippen. I know he can score the ball. Pippen Jr. two in the white, but his floor game has been very impressive as of late. Christopher, a step back three. Long range. Yeah, he's 6'4", 205. Love the step back. Bigger than the defender on him right at that moment. As long as he wasn't looking at Kevin Durant. <laughs> out of bounds. Because then he'll go out of bounds. I mean, they call that in the playground. Come on. Hey, he was inbounds in the stat book call. Ofebu with the bucket. Ball. Here goes Christopher. The scoop. He's fouled. Everybody talks about being positionless. One, two, or three. And he can play a four because he's so strong. Not a lot of looks tonight. He's got 11 of his team's 22. Fair sticking with that zone. Pippen firing over it. That's a swish! A triple for Scotty Pippen Jr. Defense didn't commit. And that's the best part of his game. Bailey, the freshman, oh, trying to throw it down. Christopher the block. Pippen recovers. One more three. Martin in traffic. Got it back, and he's fouled. He was at Oaks Christian, also here in the greater Los Angeles area. He was floundering in the classroom. So dad pulled his son out of school. Said, you've got to take care of your business in the classroom if you're going to play on the court. Got all the attention when he goes to the rack. Stanley's pass deflected by Christopher. Pippen saved it. Back to Pippen, and a foul with 20 seconds. And Pippen took a hard spill. Foul committed by number two, Dylan Cabs. His third personal. Foul is on Cabs. 19 foul. Pippen remains down. Let's take a look. There he is, two in the white in the paint. He took a hard bump. Mm. Landed right on that back. Stoic. As always, didn't even flinch yesterday on ESPN on Get Up. If you're going to talk about the greatest players of all time, talk about the guys who have won the most. Checking in for the that was a great, 10. simple Hunter point Pippen. that Scottie Pippen made. Yeah. Christopher splitting the double team, but a steal. L. Simpson ahead to Scottie Pippen Jr. Exclamation point for this first half. And there's the smile from Dad. Pippen Jr. He's doing it on both ends of the floor. 
Known for his offense. A little strip right there. He gets it back. And that time, flushing it down. 19 points for Scotty Pippen Jr. He'll head to Vanderbilt for a visit this weekend. He is balling out tonight here at home in this showcase matchup in Los Angeles. Coming up here in Chatsworth, we will preview a historic matchup coming your way next Friday night. such a special deal these schools separated by 50 miles we got a sellout crowd in this beautiful facility here in Chatsworth but Sierra Canyon has been overwhelming and Scotty Pippen Jr. has been really impressive I'm so impressed with his simple subtle ways he's been effective and efficient 19 points at the half an emerging player in the senior class now Pippen leads all scorers but the way things started Josh Christopher the highest ranked player in this game was able to get going. Well, he knows where he wants to go with the ball in his hands, whether it's the assist or the finish. Strong finish to start the game. I love the way he navigates the floor. His eyes are up. How about this schoolyard shot? Gets two points, that's all that matters. And I talked about Pippen Jr. Real simple, real effective. Getting stronger, confidence is growing. And that man right there, he doesn't need any more confidence. Cassius Stanley does it with authority. And if you leave Pippen Jr. alone, what he does best is knock it down. Now Christopher had that beautiful step back three as well. And Christopher has the skill. The game plan is to get the ball out of his hands. Still got 11 points in the first half. Two ESPN ranked player is in this game, Cassius Stanley and Josh Christopher, both with 11 points as we check out our Geico first half stats. But again, Scotty Pippen Jr., the four-star prospect for Sierra Canyon, leads all scorers with 19. Cassius Stanley, DeMar DeRozan. Wow. Yeah, that kind of athlete mid-range game and can be a lockdown defender. That's what he was wearing. Not sure what he's wearing right now, but he said if he's not playing well, or in foul trouble, he's changing up the shoes at halftime. He likes to be different. Al Simpson. Simpson knocking down the three for Sierra Canyon. With Coloco and Martin lurking. And Martin came over from the weak side, a challenge. Pippen, the dish to Martin. Count it, plus the foul. Sierra Canyon always running. Foul committed by number 10, Hunter. Scotty Pippen Jr. Surveys the floor. He's got great Martin passing vision. Very unselfish. Point. Nice soft give up. All Martin has to do is lay it in. Hard fall. And the defense for Sierra Canyon makes him change his shot. Christopher, the lob. Oh, Febu blocked by Pippen at the rim. Timing was a bit awkward. Christopher gets it back. He lays it in, plus one. For Josh Christopher. That was an outstanding block by Michael Ofebu. Foul committed by number two, Scotty Pippen Jr. Big time block, he got a piece of that. Right there on the weak side, good chase down. Christopher at the line. You see Christopher one. attacking. And he's got the strength, the body control, the explosiveness. Because yeah. he's athletic, he's active, he's got good hands, he's got very good wingspan. So the two should be investigating him. Simpson trains a corner three. He's like a fire hydrant. Look at him right on the ball. He gets right up and under Josh Christopher. Kirkwood, high floater. Count it plus the foul. Big three. When you get other guys starting to get buckets, they're almost impossible to beat. They'll have a rematch with the only team to beat them this season, Montverde. It's a big boy game right there. Amari, Amari Bailey, Bailey is becoming a big boy, the freshman with the jumper. Saw that nice little lefty pull up, supreme athlete. Christopher blocked by Coloco. Martin gathers it. Pippen finishes. A very good open three point shoot. Eight to shoot. Inside to Martin for the flush. What a catch. Because that was a bullet by Bailey. Kirkwood the lay in for Mayfair. Yeah, he really has on the summer circuit. With the Vegas prospects. Been very, very good. Offensive board. 
Stanley missing at the rim, got it back, and he converts. In a dominant effort thus far, 64-39 at the end of three. Because right now UCLA owes a lot of money for the football coach and Steve Alfred. And if you're going to want to win, you're going to have to pay somebody a lot of money. But who knows, maybe get Rick Pitino right now at a different price point. Stanley lays it in. Sierra Canyon's lead is 26. When I would go home, my kids would talk to me, and I was thinking about how I could block the punt of Michigan coming up this week. He said, I was there physically, but mentally, I was checked out. Coloco, the putback for Sierra Canyon. He thinks the game, he can process and play the game at the same time. Ofebu rising up again. Not even a Division II offer at this point. 24 in the blue. Looking to get on a roster. High level athleticism. Austin missed the three. Big time rebound by the freshman. Bailey sticking with it. Wow. Sierra Canyon going to fall asleep or are they going to continue to finish this game off? And what's Mayfair going to do? Are they going to continue to fight, try to cut the lead? You know, with a shot clock, Ted, you never know. Three-pointer by Elijah Shaheed. And now, I believe, we have a technical foul call. Christian Coloco, 35 Elijah in the white, Shaheed. is incredulous. We will sort it out. After the break, Sierra Canyon in control. One more look at Ofebu. Hammering at home here out west. Give him a scholarship. He's been very efficient with his game. He's been tight. He organizes the team. He makes open shots. And he's been stellar tonight. Elijah Shaheed drills the three for Mayfair. Approaching the final minute. At Sierra Canyon, Christopher punches it. Always capable of the Sports Center top 10 play. I think he's been waiting to do that all night long. Just didn't have the chance in this game. The defense by the Trailblazers. But Josh Christopher, you let him out of the cage, boy, I'll tell you what. He could be filthy at the rim. That's a strong punch. His second personal. I like the way he just surveys the floor, see if his teammates are open. You know, he was looking to give that up for a second, Ted, then decided, I got the path, let out. me take it. Pippen Jr., we have him as a four-star recruit. That means he's a high major player. He's visiting Vanderbilt this weekend. If you watched him at the Les Schwab Invitational, you watch him tonight, he's going to get Checking more recruiting interest Canyon, from high-level programs Jake and some mid-major plus Dylan type programs. Cohen. You know, I think for him, right now, he, he's in the driver's seat when it comes to his recruiting. He's got to find the right fit, but I think he's helped himself tremendously this senior year. In the last 34 games, going back to last season. Three-pointer by Shahid, his third of the quarter. Chris Edwards comes away with it. Ten seconds. Edwards, the senior, off the mark. Give it to you. Give it to the big boy. Oh, uh, Wigginton. The crowd wants him to put it up, but he'll just dribble it out. Sierra Canyon living up to its billing as the number eight team in the country. They go from start to finish, led by Cassius Stanley and Scotty Pippen Jr. Final score, 75-56 here in L.A. Now for Paul B. and Cardi and our entire ESPN crew, this is Ted Emmerich, so long from the Valley.